and welcome back to our channel here. So we have a, another review video and today it is featuring the Louis Vuitton Monogram Turenne PM. So this bag actually came in three different sizes. It came in the PM, MM, and GM. All three are discontinued, but I am reviewing the size PM today, which is most comparable to the Louis Vuitton Monogram Speedy B25. So it does feature a top zipper and a removable Vachetta strap. I have it actually paired here with my monogram 16 millimeter strap. I think it just gives it a different edgy look. So I do like switching up the straps on it. And I also have the strap from my multi pochette to pair with it as well. So right off the bat, you can see that the size is really comparable, but the main differentiator, which I love, is the structured base. So when you wear the Speedy B with an organizer, it is structured, but usually the bag does have a sag. So it does take the form of the items that are inside. So if you do want a little bit more of a structured bag, and I would say a dressier bag, the Turen PM is a great alternative. It also has a little bit less vachetta than the Speedy. So, um, you know, with the thick side leather pieces. So it will be a little bit more weatherproof. The only area of concern on this bag and one thing to just kind of be careful with is on these corners right here, how the canvas is actually rolled is an area that usually does get wear. I have seen them since you know I own her authentic and resell bags. I have seen them with cracking here. However, this is only the case with overuse. So if you do take care of your bags or, you know, at least look out for that, it is something that won't happen. I haven't seen it on too many. Like I said, just something I see with overuse. So you have the top handle here, the little zipper pull here, zipper, the strap, these little side tabs here. And I'll kind of show you the inside and as far as what it holds. So I don't really have it organized now. I kind of just have everything thrown in there. Just wanted to show what a regular day looks like. I am, however, using those two inside pockets on here. I have my two essentials that I do not want to dig for. It is the clay that has my gate clicker and my car keys. And then I have my card holder. So being a mom, I, I just don't have time to be looking around for things. So these are the two things that are just in that spot. So I'll kind of show you everything in here and then how it looks on the inside. My long champ, this is just my catch all, anything from gum, lipstick, um, miscellaneous keys are in here. I also have my 12 Pro Max pandemic edition mask and hand sanitizer my chanel zippy sunglasses the only thing missing today actually are my reading glasses because um i am wearing contacts today airpods and living in south florida on umbrella so as you can see this is a very very spacious bag and it holds all of this and it doesn't actually get too heavy so on the inside there are three pockets one basically the entire length of the bag and then these two smaller ones right here the inside does have this really pretty um purple or wine colored interior and it does have some kind of like glitter detail to it so i do think it's gonna wear really well you of course have the d-ring inside that you could attach keys or something to. I've never used a D-ring on any of my bags, but the option is still there. Um, this bag was discontinued at around 1540 USD being the retail on the secondhand market. You can find it anywhere between, I would say realistically it's like 13 around to almost $1,600. We actually sell these around 1500 ourselves when they are in this condition, which we would call a near mint condition. So it definitely is a great option. The Speedy B currently is 1640 plus tax. And this, like I said, you can get for 13 to 1400. So it's a little bit cheaper and a little bit more structured. So if you are contemplating between the Speedy Bandolier or the Turen, my vote definitely is the Turen for the structured aspect. So I really hope that you enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. If you did, please give it a like and a comment, interact with me. I would love to comment and reply back to you. If you can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram under Her Authentic. And of course you can always follow my personal, which is more Lux, please. All of those will be linked down below for you. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time on our video. Bye.